this is the update on our pond project here and it's been a, a slamming success. We've been swimming in the pond all summer long. As you can see the water is perfectly clear. Down at the bottom of this pipe here which goes about uh, eight feet down below the bottom of the pond we've got a great big grander rod in there and uh, that's what's keeping the biological community in here alive and hungry and so it's naturally flocculating the pond and uh, typically speaking everybody's very concerned about vegetation around their pond and and trees letting the leaves come into their pond and uh, we didn't do anything and last fall the whole surface was covered in leaves and in the springtime the water was was totally brown because of the tannins in the leaf but uh, if you do the research it's the it's the enzymes that feed on those tannins that naturally flocculate the water and flocculating is when you is when you take all the suspended clay particles and other floating particles that contribute to water turbidity and you you group them together in bunches so they get heavy enough to fall to the bottom. And so if you see here, you don't see any of the leaves that blew in from last season still in the water because the community, the bacteriological community in here is so active, it eats everything up. And so it's been a full year of just letting, and we've got all kinds of beetles in here. We had frogs in here and, and birds drinking out of here and dragonflies. And, uh, you know, it's now a full season and the water's perfectly clean and you can drink out of the pond without any problem. It's perfectly clean. So compare that to any kind of swimming pool infrastructure where it's constant chemicals and filtration and pumps. There's no artificial, we don't even have aeration in here. It's just a grander rod at the bottom and the pond stays perfectly clean. So that's, uh, I don't know, it's pretty exciting and, it, and it's, it's nice swimming in a swimming hole and people don't think about that that all of your artificial swimming pools have plastic liners and they're not grounded with the earth. And that's why when you go swimming in an ocean or a river or a lake, you know, if they're clean enough, it's a, it's a very invigorating experience. Whereas when you go into your hot tub or your swimming pool, all you've got is water that's being destroyed by pumps and chemicals and it's not able to regulate its charge with the earth. And so it just isn't a... Taking a dip in here is extremely extremely refreshing and invigorating and we're we we're pretty thankful to have it this summer with all the heat for sure yeah you're talking about fracking pollution yeah. yeah well that's that's been a really big issue for a lot of natural bodies of water too because you've got that groundwater infiltration um, I don't think we have any of that going on near here and even so this isn't groundwater this is water that's being suspended here because we lined the the bottom of the pond with bentonite clay and so this is a sealed unit but it's not sealed with plastic, it's sealed with clay. And so it's just been just a very, you know, if you go swimming in here, you kick it up, it gets a little cloudy. Two days later, crystal clear again. Most farms have completely abandoned all the use of, of groundwater and they're trying to drill wells. And that's actually in some cases making it worse because people are just, they're, they're perforating all these holes in the landscape. And then if they abandon those wells at all and you end up with runoff, that runoff just falls right down the wells and contaminates the aquifers that used to be clean. And people are going to have to seriously smarten up in their treatment of water if we're going to move forward with fresh water available. I don't know, this has been a real thrilling project for us this summer, just because I didn't think our, our, our great big pond that we have all our livestock on and, and our houses and everything, it's very clear like this. And I wasn't sure if we'd be able to replicate that on a small scale level. And, and we have been, it's been totally successful.